with this yep. hire, are the Browns any closer or are they farther away from being Super Bowl champions one day? Closer. They hired brains. And, and by the way, first, let me state the obvious. I don't know if it's the lead, but it's the obvious. We have been talking a lot on the show, Steve Nay. You've been lamenting the, the scarcity of African-American uh, uh, head coaches and general managers. Here's a general manager and head of football operations, African-American Harvard graduate, mm -hmm. by the way. Um, this, is the, this is a good hire, I believe. First of all, he was involved in building up the Browns' war chest. The reason the Browns got these star players all of a sudden is because Andrew Berry and Dee Podesta and these guys built up draft picks in this huge stash of this huge cache of resources. And then you bring in someone else to just pull the trigger. John Dorsey, oh, I'm going to get this guy and this guy and this guy like a kid in a candy store. All these shiny new toys. Same thing happened with Sam Hinkie in, um, with Hinkie in uh, uh, Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. The process that Stephen A. laments. The, the brains come in and build up all this potential energy. You know, you roll the, the rock up the hill. And then the kinetic energy is when you actually push it down and it, and it has that energy. So, so here was Andrew Berry, one of the people who rolled it up the hill for the Browns. And then Dorsey comes in. He's a football guy, and he pushes it down. This is the team he got. The reason, the reason uh, uh, Colangelo and now Elton Brand or Dorsey at first look so good when they walk into that situation is because they, they have so many resources. They almost can't look bad if they start pulling the trigger on deals. They're going to acquire talent. But, but is it the right talent? Is it the right fit? Did they optimize the resources? So that little phase is over, and it didn't work. Now they're bringing back in the Harvard-educated guy that helped build it up in the first place. That's a good sign. Well, first of all, when I I'm of the mindset that they're further away, not closer, but it's not because of Andrew Berry. First of all, congratulations to this brother. Um, I've been on, on this bandwagon for a long time, as Max just articulated. Uh, the, pause, the, the, the scarcity of African-American coaches is one problem, but uh, the, the, the lack of African-American executives goes a long way. Um, I'm not sure if this is true if he were in Georgia that day. But remember when Colin Kaepernick was scheduled to have that workout with the NFL, and I talked about how there were African-Americans in the pipeline to become executives that showed up in attendance, making my point that there were people there that were thoroughly interested in giving him an opportunity. I believe Andrew Berry was one of them, but I'm not sure. Here's the reality of the situation. I'm very, very happy for him. Um, I wish him nothing but the best. Him and Stefanski are incredibly young and bright. Uh, the problem is, in order to clean up the mess that was made, they're going to have to make changes. And in the process of making those changes, they'll probably take a step back right. before taking two steps forward. So in that regard, you got to remember, Haslam, the owner, took over in 2012. This is his fifth GM you got two coach years combination. For this is his fifth GM coach combination since 2012. Yeah. I mean, that's. A, I mean, you don't see that turn. You've seen uh, uh, the Steelers have had three coaches since the 60s. Okay, <laughs> this man has had a new coach and GM five times in seven years. So I don't know what the hell Aslam is doing. But in this particular instance, I love the hire of Andrew Berry. I personally will be rooting for this brother. Stefanski, even though his last time we saw him wasn't his most shining moment in that playoff game against San Francisco because he seemed so predictable. He was an offensive Andy, coordinator. That's right. He was an offensive coordinator. He had a year, that he, had a year that he, had a year that he had a year in. Give it to them. Let's see what happens. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.